Welcome to Dust City. In this game, you play as a field investigator, exploring a city that has mysteriously and suddenly appeared inside of a crater. You're able to learn more about the city with the help of your Esotech Arconotics version 5.1 device, which has helpful features like one-touch artifact decryption, home point teleportation, and psychoplasmic residual anomaly translation. Buy yours for only $19.99. I'm just kidding. Mere mortals can't purchase this device. There's actually a PDF that comes with this game that describes the various features of the Arconotex device, which is a cool little bit of world building, I think. Dust City is made by Kitty Horror Show, which is a freaking awesome name, and it is available for free, with the option to donate if you want to support the developer. So we'll have a link in the description to where you can check it out for yourself. Alright, let's begin. I've played it for a couple minutes myself, just to get a little bit familiar with how it controls and make sure everything worked right and everything like that. And I really like what I've seen so far, so I can't wait to get into it. Alright, so at the moment I'm on the cusp of the crater. About to head down into it. Thankfully, from what I can tell, there is no fall damage. So let's just go jumping off here. Whee! Uh, we're fine. Alright, we are now inside of the crater. And there is something in the, in the haze in the distance. Some ectoplasmic thingy-mabob. and various buildings with rather strangely colored glass. So this is the city that did not exist here before, just suddenly appeared. Where did it come from? Why is it here? And that one's in the sky. <laughs> huh. I guess I won't be going through that door, will I? Or maybe I will. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably not going to be able to. Psychoplasmic residual anomaly detected. Click to translate. Now, I find the font kind of hard to read, so apologies if I'm slow at reading it or misread it. But from what I can tell, it says, All the metal in the world was howling at once, like the cries of a wounded titan. Cries of a wounded titan. So there are various doors that you can travel through. And inside are strange, strange things. You would think you'd go inside of a door into a building and you'd find... What? Furniture? A room? But... Not so... Let's go inside. Each door is a pathway to an entirely different world. Coins, my Arconotics says. And apparently my Arconotics is very happy about the coins. Well, who doesn't like coins? But what's my score? And why am I picking them up? If I collect a hundred, can I, like, get a huge teddy bear? Let's take a look around here, actually. Lots of pillars. Like old, old pillars. Some of them are just spinning. There's a spirit over here. Let's see what it has to say. There was grass once, and tall trees and water. The... what does that say? The something chewed through it and made it bust? Does that say beluga? Like beluga whale? 
Deluge? I don't know. I find the font extraordinarily hard to read. Although it seems to be only the capitalized stuff that's hard to read, actually. The lowercase stuff is perfectly fine. I like the peaceful music. This place doesn't feel horrifying or, or scary. It actually feels very peaceful. Which is actually kind of at odds with how it feels when I was out in the city. It felt very menacing, very strange, very creepy. There's another one up there. Another spirit. So it looks like there's one, two, three, four pathways to go. Um, let's go this way next. And then after this way, I'll head to the spirit. Oh, there's another one here. She was weeping as the lake evaporated. The soil burned, became a desert. the capitalizations matter somehow. Like, maybe if they're, maybe they're a clue to something. Because if they're not a clue, it seems very strange why those words would be capitalized. Actually, I think there's five ways to go. Are those coins that go out into the void? Oh, I'm totally gonna try to get them, even if I have to jump for them. You can't have coins in a video game and not expect people to want to get them. Like, it's, it's just a compulsion. Where there are coins in a video game, there will be people collecting them. It's just a fact of life. The sun had never been so red, at once beautiful and terrible. The sun's so beautiful and terrible, and talking about weeping and water evaporating in deserts. Did everything get killed off by the sun? In this world? Did it become superheated or something? Looks like a chalice of some sort. Artifact detected. Click to decrypt. Name is... I, I really can't read that. Are those L's? Numerical passcode 923102. Hmm, I'm assuming that's important, so I'm gonna write that down. 923102. I'm not sure where I would use this, but 
I'm assuming if you're given a passcode, it's probably important. I should write down the name as well, just in case that's important as well. There we go. Okay, that leaves one way to go. What does warmth feel like? Is my Arcanodex talking to me? Is my Arcanodex sentient? Oh no. There's no way I can get them all. I, I think I might be able to get the first two, but not the last two. Okay. Here we go. <gasps> oh no, I missed it. Goodbye, world. It's an interesting shape. Kind of looked a little bit like a starfish. Okay, I think we fully explored this world. So, thanks to our Arca Nodix, it has the ability to teleport us. So let's go ahead and teleport back. Alright, I'm going to have to keep track of where I've been. So I've been to the place... This is where I just went, right? The place right in front of me when I teleport back? Yeah. Okay. Oh, the coins are back. I can just keep collecting coins forever. Alright, let's go forwards in this direction. I'll consider this the forwards direction. Relative to where I teleport. Doesn't seem to be anything out here. Looks like this is just the opposite side of the crater. There might be something over there somewhere, because when I was playing to test out the game, I, I did find some water somewhere. Oh, there's a door out in the middle of nowhere. It's only visible from one side. Interesting. Let's see where this takes us. Look at that little thing up there. It's got some color on it. Looks like a platform. This world reminds me a little bit of Naissance or Cairo, which were two very good games. Hmm. Let's see, where can I go from here? want to fall into the purple sea. Um, maybe there's an invisible walkway or something? Nope. There, oh, wait. Yes? Am I... Oh, yeah, there is. I wonder if it extends over everything, or if it's just right here. Let's look around here and make sure there's no hidden spirits around the corner. Hello? I actually haven't seen a single spirit here. It's like a whole world built out of primitives. If that's the right word. Just like basic shapes. Rectangles, squares, circles, things like that. 
And that one's in the shape of a crystal. It's really hard to see it, but there's a little... Yep. Aww. It didn't even stop for me. Rude. Poor customer service. Alright, I'm just gonna run forwards. There we go. Ah, here's the spirits. Or... Maybe I shouldn't call them spirits. Maybe they're... Memories? Remnants? Actually, what is a spirit if not a remnant or a memory? Even the roads seemed to hold their breath as the sky came ever closer. Now what I want to know is if what the spirits say is relevant to what all the other ones said as well, or if it's specific to this world. Because that guy... I shouldn't say guy, I have no idea what it is. Because that one was talking about the sky coming closer. Which definitely could be relevant to the whole sun and everything becoming a desert thing. Our glass towers and gold lights were not enough to protect us. I think I need to go this way. Ooh, okay, so I can go over there, but there's also something down here. It looks like it's actually a little town. Yeah, hello. For a single moment, before we were nothing, we were equal. So the ones with lights inside of them have the spirits. Understand. I did everything right. I... Something more than the others. This isn't fair. I had? Oh yeah, I had. More than the others, this isn't fair. It sounds like everybody died. In some sort of massive apocalyptic event. Alright, is there a way back up from here, or do I have to go back? I think I have to go back. See if I can... Yes, yeah, so there is a walkway over the entire thing. So, I can just go right back to the start. I'm assuming each location has one artifact. Can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Ah, yes! Can I make this one? No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're all talking, all the spirits are talking about the same event, it sounds like. The sun going red. All the water evaporating. Leaving behind a desert, a wasteland. Wow, 
I almost didn't make that, actually. Prisms are breathing. Are they? Merax? I think those are O's. Let's write that one down. 101322. Okay, I think we fully explored this place. Teleport back. Alright, so I've been through that door and uh, the one over here that you need to look the other direction for. Let's try to our left. Here we go. I don't like this one. This one isn't calming. No, no it's not. This actually reminds me of The Void, the game from Icepick Lodge. This strange, strange geometry. Like massive blades just slowly and. Oh, what's the right word? I can't think of the right word. Menacingly, that's the word. Slowly and menacingly spinning over your head. Well, this one's not too slow. It's also very, very close. I do not like it here, Arkanodex says. Neither do I. Please don't leave me here with him. I would take you with me if I could, but I don't think I can. Ooh, that was close. Let's go. Let's go fast. It sounds like somebody's breathing slowly. In a mask. I'm 
getting the hell out of here right now. <sighs> okay, been there. Been to that one somewhere over there. Just went to... Was it this one or this one? It was this one. Let's try this one. So it doesn't have a door. But this one does. Aww. It's beautiful. It's a glitch world. The edges of the universe are wallpapered with glitches. I like it. Oh. The properties in this world are also different from normal. That explains how I get around. Well. Let's see. Oh. Uh-oh. I didn't make it. It's okay, I think it's gonna put me back to the start. Yeah, there we go. Let's get out of here first. Oh. What's to say? Love stretches to all corners. Hmm. Something one verse song. Did I just collect it? I think I did just collect it. Let's see if I can get to this one. Yes. Oh, there's something up here. Oh, wait. It keeps going up. Oh, yeah, it keeps going up. All right, let's see, let's map this place out. So, looking for crystals, I suppose. Just got that one. There's another one down there. Ooh, almost fell. Spirit, spirit. Another crystal. Okay, so I'm assuming the artifact itself is probably up here. But all of the other things are down here. Oh God. Talk about motion sickness. You spin me right round. Like a record, baby. Well, since I'm already up here, might as well get the artifact. Or, well, I shouldn't say get the artifact. Analyze the artifact. We had built so many sanctuaries. Some of light. Others of stone. The stars grounded them all to sand. Ah, there's one up here. On the roof of the temple. Hello there. Oh, it just disappears up, doesn't it? Come back! Goodbye. Rise, fall, burst, return, ascend. Those capital A's look almost exactly like O's. So it's spiky. Siri. Seven one two two one Siri. Okay. Let's go find the rest of them. 
<laughs> I could get onto that thing. That'd be fun. Oh, crap. Oh, no, I fell. It's fine. I fall like a... Like a feather in the wind. Just... Ah. Uh. Water is music. Life. Shit, the internet is... But again... Wait. Shit, the internet is... But again, say it's happening everywhere? Did I read that right? I have no idea what that one means. Oh crap. Oh no! I thought it, I, I thought I had more air control, so I didn't bother to jump. Let's try that again. Goddess smiles, temple weeps, sky erupts. And they fell off again. I want to make sure I get every single one. Oh, for the love of God! It's actually kind of hard to tell how much you've moved. Because there's no uh, footstep sounds or anything like that. knowledge into silicon and glass, which turns to ash just as quickly as flesh and bone. Oh, hundred... Is that A or... Oh, a hundred, it's A, a hundred, uh, thousand points of light, words in an endless poem. Okay, I'm still missing a few. I think I'm missing that one over there. And I think that's it, actually. I think that's the last one. of glass in a valley of steel. The air shimmered for hours. Everything was smashed. Alright, I think it's time to teleport back. Goodbye, world. That world was... I describe it as mournful. It was sad. It's kind of bittersweet.
I don't even remember which one I just went into. I know I've been in that one. That one didn't have a door. I think I went in this one. Maybe there's another door around the back. Nope. Alright, let's check out this one. Now this one actually looks like a home of some sort. Can't I have a single fucking moment of privacy in this house? It's an angry spirit. Oh, this is the place with water, I think. Yeah, okay, so actually, when I mentioned that I encountered water somewhere, I think it was in here. Not out in the... the city place. Looks like we're gated in. Let's look through the forest. It's so dark. I love the way the red contrasts with everything, with the, the blackness. You can even hear it. Sounds like a stone tablet being dragged on a stone. <laughs> or maybe that's that. I think it's that thing. Not the gear. I've just skipped over the entire dock area. I don't know if I should. Well, obviously I shouldn't. I'm trying to explore. Ooh, wait, I just saw... I think I just saw... Yeah, there's a spirit. Oh no. Are you trapped inside? Crap, where's the way in? Ooh, maybe I can jump here. There we go. I hate you. I came all this way for you, and that's all you have to say. You little shit. I could have just gone this way, too. Alright, let's check out the docks. Well, if those two spirits are any indication, the people in this... in this world seem to be very angry. And it is almost blood red, isn't it? Furniture looks burned to a crisp. No mattresses. Just bare wood. 
Ew. Whoa. I just looked down at my Arcanotics and I just realized it says run. When did when did it start saying run? That's not a good thing. Oh, is that the artifact? Whoa! Jesus! Fuck! No! That's not the artifact! Jesus. Okay, I think it's time to go up. There's the artifact. Hopefully this one doesn't scream at me. His name is... Burr, or... Buer? Oh, he just pronounced Burr. 62171. There's not too many spirits in this world. I only saw two. Wait a minute. I saw one inside of the home that I first came into, and then I also saw one kind of behind the fence. But I can see two in my view. And I don't think I'm seeing the one inside of the home unless you can even see through the house from here, which would be weird. That makes me wonder. Maybe I missed one. Hold on. Let's go towards it. Actually, I think that is maybe the one in the house. Let's see, it's right there. Is that where the house is? Oh, yeah. Okay, it's just the one in the house. Unless... Wait, did I ever... No, I never talked to you, did I? No. He wanted to be alone. I wonder if this one's talking about the other spirit? The one that said, I just, you know, I just want some privacy? Alright, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. This is creepy. Okay, been to that place. No door. Been to that place. Into that place. I believe I just went into that one, right? Is this one have a door? Well, well, well. This is very interesting. It turns out I've reached the end of what I can do inside of the game. However, I've not reached the end of what I can do outside of the game. So this is the game's directory, as you can see. And there's actually a bunch of zip files named after the artifacts. 
And it turns out, the passwords that you get from the artifacts are actually supposed to be used to unzip these passworded zip files. And what is inside of them is very interesting. It's very strange. I guess they're little snippets of of memories from the artifacts, from the from the people. But they take very different forms. They're everything from audio to images to even a text adventure. So let's just take a quick look at them. So this one for Agaris is Our Vacation, which has a bunch of pictures. They're kind of creepy. Looks like they were all taken at night. It's very strange. Nothing appears out of the ordinary in them other than the fact that they seem to be of buildings that are in kind of poor condition. Kinda? At least one of them. Yeah, like this one. Definitely could use a new paint job. I don't know if it's occupied or what, but... Uh, aside from that... Nothing seems exceptional about them. They're just kind of creepy. Vaguely creepy. So for Burr, there's actually a text adventure. And it's really damn cool. You get to choose either the key, the feather... Or the box. Let's play through one of these. Let's go with key. Very well. You are in a bowl-shaped valley, surrounded by black peaks. The sky is the color of steel, and the valley is filled with mist. A path stretches before you, deeper into the valley. Dead grass crunches beneath your feet. You come to the shore of an enormous lake. A path leads along the lake shore. A metal ramp leads out over the water, rising towards something hidden in the mist. Path or ramp? Let's go with the path along the lake shore. The path leads you for hours along the restless shore. The path diverges into a wood, or continues along the shore. Let's keep going along the shore. Following the shore brings you to a narrow beach. The beach continues along the shore of the lake, or a sandy path breaks off towards the mountains. Let's go to the mountains. The sandy path continues into the grass at the mountain's base. The path becomes a rocky slope that leads up the mountain wall. The slope becomes steeper. You must climb. The mountain face is jagged and onyx black. You cut your hands as you climb. You mount a shelf and see a cave. The cave proceeds forward into darkness. You spend hours navigating lightless passages. You come to a large opening illuminated by a single pillar of sunlight. In the center of the opening is a stone altar. The altar means nothing to you. Your search is fruitless. You retrace your steps and return to the beach. Okay, well, I've been in the mountains. Let's continue along the lake. Oh, looks like we've come full circle. All right, so I just went all the way around the lake shore. Let's go up the metal ramp. You ascend the ramp. The world around you disappears in the mist. Something is wrong. The mist turns red. The ramp continues upward, higher and higher. A shape takes form in the mist above you. It is a house. The ramp terminates at the door of the house. It is open. The inside of the house is dark. You step into shadow. The house swallows you. A staircase leads up to the house's second floor. There is also a door beside you. Hold on, is this describing what I found inside of the game? Remember when I was in the the place where every I, I only encountered three different spirits and they all seemed pissed off and everything was red? Remember there was a lakeshore? There was a woods? 
I went up the ramp that led out over the lake, which is where I'm at in the story. And remember the house up there? I went up to the second floor and there was that strange thing that, that kind of screamed at me and then disappeared. This is that, isn't it? In that case, I don't want to go to the second floor because I know what I found up there and it wasn't pleasant. Let's go in the, into the door beside me. The key in your pocket begins to warm. You approach the door and find it locked. You unlock the door with a key. A stairway leads down. You descend into darkness. The basement opens before you. The stone floor is warm and wet. In the center of the dark space is a chest. You open the chest. It is full of teeth. Tongue. Flesh. Blood. You fall in. The teeth close. You are ground away. You become a memory. A bloody stain. Shapeless and red. <laughs> that was really good and creepy as hell. That is so strange. And I love it. I'm pretty sure that was talking about what I encountered encountered in game. That red lake place. It's a piece of interactive fiction. So you you play the game, and through playing the game, you find a password that allows you to unzip a file outside of the game and play a different kind of game that's an interactive fiction that is actually based on the game. That is so weird and awesome. I wonder if there's any way to get through that without ending up dead. Alright, let's try Merrick's. Oh yeah, this one has a bunch of transmissions. Here's one of them. A little bit loud, sorry. Some very unpleasant noises. There's a voice in there. And it didn't sound very pleasant, or it did no, it sounded it sounded like it was somebody calling for help, like they're in danger. Afraid. Yeah, listen back to that. It sounds like it said coming for me. Like it's coming for me, or they're coming for me. This is really creepy. Sounds like you could reverse that and hear what the voice said. In fact, why don't we do that now? I think I can open two instances of Audacity, right? A tornado watch remains in effect until 11 p.m. Thursday afternoon for southwestern Iowa and eastern Nebraska. Okay, welcome back. Uh, sorry about that. I was going to edit this transmission here that had a backwards voice. And it turns out, when I go to do that, it actually stopped... It actually stops my other recording in Audacity, which records my voice. So I kind of lost everything I just did for the end. Um, anyway, so I won't be editing it, but suffice to say, the backwards voice is actually a tornado warning. Alright, let's so look at the last two. So I was just in Marx. Let's go to Salos. These are strange. They seem to be encrypted or something. You can tell there's words there. 
just like the file names themselves, are obviously words, but they're kind of all mixed up. Now, I don't really know anything about cryptography of any sort, or code cracking of any sort. It, this probably is very, very simple. But I really have no idea. In fact, you can kind of even read some parts of it. I remember having so much time. Something, something, the far back, not a tunnel, but a field. I don't know if it's, yeah, I don't know if you can actually decrypt it, or if you just have to kind of try to read it and make sense of it. Maybe it's supposed to just be kind of a garbled message. Perhaps it's not something you actually can decrypt. It's something you just have to try to attempt to read. Just like a grainy image, or the other transmissions that have sounded all uh, filled with weird noise. So, all of them are like that. I wonder what it says. This is in all caps. Hmm. And the very last one here is a very long audio file. Which it turns out is actually a kind of captured transmission of a song. So it's got lots of noise in the background, as you can hear. But at certain parts of it, you can actually hear a song. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it kind of fades in and out. As if it's a distant signal that they keep losing track of. And it just turns to static. Yep. Signal lost. So there we go. Yeah, that was really cool. I'm trying to remember what I said before in the wrap-up that I gave that got eaten by the fact that Audacity wasn't actually recording. And let me make sure it is actually recording. Okay, good. Yep, it's recording. Good. <laughs> Gotta double check that now, I'm paranoid. Yeah, I really enjoyed this game. I love it when games do stuff like this. It's, it's incredibly cool. I mean, to play a game and then get stuff inside of the game that allows you to unlock stuff outside of the game that is relevant to the game, but is kind of full of... Uh, made up of different types of, of mediums. You know, there's pictures, there's uh, an interactive fiction, there's songs and transmissions. It's just this whole, like, grab bag full of interesting... interesting things all about this world. All these fragments of this world. It's just fascinating and incredibly cool. And just exploring around in, in the game itself was a joy. All the different moods, and all the different feelings all the different worlds had. Everyone felt like a different element of the people. There was a world that was all filled with hate, and was all red, and scary. There's another one that was all happy. You know, filled, it was filled with coins that made little blip noises when you got them, and everything was good. Except the people talked about the fact that their world had kind of turned to a wasteland, and all the water evaporated, which wasn't so happy, but um, other than that, it was quite happy. 
And then there's the world that was filled with blades spinning over your head. Just all these, all these different places. With different moods, different feelings, different things to discover. Completely different art styles, too. Completely different art styles. One was almost made completely of primitives, and others were more normal-ish. None, none of them were what I would call normal, but yeah, others more down-to-earth. Another one where you can jump extremely high and there's low gravity. Just It was incredibly varied and just fun to explore and look at all these different places that feel different and control different. Yeah, it was wonderful. I feel like Dust City did a very good job of sitting comfortably in in the point where they don't reveal... It doesn't reveal too much about what happened, to the point where it leaves nothing to the imagination. But at the same time, there's enough concrete information that I'm also not left completely feeling in the dark and having no idea what the hell happened. I mean, even though I don't know how the city got there or why it suddenly appeared, I have no idea what's up with that. But I do have somewhat of a, a decent idea what happened to, I'm assuming, kill all of the people? The apocalyptic event that happened? Talked about the stars slamming into them and destroying everything. Talked about the sun turning red and the water evaporating. You know, there's enough there I can kind of grab onto it and feel somewhat satisfied. But at the same time, there's enough room to imagine what happened. It's very cool. It's, it's very hard to set that line, too. It's very hard, but I think it did a really good job of being a good mixture of inf of allowing imagination, but also having enough solid information. Yeah, I just really enjoyed it. It was wonderful. Well, I think that about wraps it up. So, once again, this has been Dust City. It is made by Kitty Horror Show, and it's available as a pay-what-you-want sort of thing. And I'll have a link in the description to where you can check it out for yourself. Thank you for watching.